All right, guys, Sunday, January 19th, maybe, 20th, 19th. It is 11.15 a.m., just got done doing my weekly food shop, and I wanted to show you guys just a couple things that I got, just because everything else is pretty much the same shit that I always buy, and I feel like I show you guys the same thing over and over again. So just a couple things that I wanted to show you that I picked up. First, I got these, this... Edie's Slow Churn Coffee and Cookies Delight. It's a limited edition version. Also, this Alexia fat or 98% fat-free fries. It's pretty much just potatoes if you look at the macros. 1.5, 21, and 1 for 84 grams. So pretty much straight potatoes. They're just like a little bit more fat than if you were to just eat potatoes. Um, and then these you've seen us eat before. Shout out to Matty Fusaro. I think we first saw them from his channel. So these are like low calorie dressings. Both of these are pretty good. The salsa ranch and the miso ginger and they're pretty low cal. Alright guys, Monday, January 20th, you just saw a set, uh, my first set of deadlifts. I, or actually, that was uh, my second set, I think. Ended up hitting three reps, but the uh, camera, I was using my phone and the camera got full. So I was, my grip was slipping, so I went to re-chalk up and then I pulled one more. I ended up hitting three sets of three with 465 there. Um, that was at a pretty sick gym out in uh, Pittsburgh and... Um, it's like not technically Pittsburgh, I don't think. I can't remember what the name of the town is. But it's called Life Force Fitness. It was pretty sick. I wish I could go there more often. It's a little bit of a drive, so it's not really too convenient during the week. But it's Martin Luther King Day today, so the gyms at Pitt were closed, so I went there with a bunch of guys from the Pitt Fitness and Bodybuilding Club. Um, but had a good workout. I am just cooking up some chicken and sweet potato. I had a salad really quickly already. And uh, just gonna be doing work today. I'm off from my rotation for the holiday, which is nice. And then um, I'm gonna try putting peanut butter on my sweet potato. I've never tried it before, but I've seen other people do it and they say that it's really good. So I always wanted to give it a shot. So we'll see how that is. Got 12 grams of peanut butter on that. Gonna give it a shot. Oh man, I just lost it. Wow. That's actually really good. peanut butter like kind of melts into it damn that's really good guys give that a shot if uh, I don't know if you want it's really good alright guys it is Thursday January 23rd sorry I haven't been uh, vlogging too much lately I haven't had a lot of time to film I'm actually in Cleveland right now just got here uh, literally like two minutes ago I'm just waiting for my cousin Nick you guys probably know Nick he goes to school at Case Western. Uh, I have an interview at the Cleveland Clinic tomorrow morning. Um, 
So I'm here now, I'm gonna stay over at his place and do this interview for a pharmacy residency position. So I actually have a few interviews coming up the next few weeks. Uh, this is the first one and it's at the Cleveland Clinic, so it should be pretty intense, but we'll see how it goes. I have a dinner tonight that I think is with a couple of the pharmacy residents, so I'm gonna go out to dinner. I'm not gonna bring my little uh, pocket scale or anything, but hopefully I'll be able to order something that isn't too difficult to guesstimate the macros for. Um, we'll see how it goes. There's gonna be breakfast tomorrow and lunch too, because the interviews are usually I'm pretty sure most of these residency interviews are gonna be all day, probably like eight to four-ish, somewhere around there. Uh, but yeah, I haven't been doing too much recording lately. I've been really busy trying to prepare for these interviews. They're really intense, so I wanna make sure that I'm ready for most of the questions that they might give me. I'm sure there will be some curveballs that they throw out there, but just waiting for my cousin now. It's about 3 p.m. He gets out of class at three, so he should be back soon. Um, snowing a lot. The roads were pretty crappy once I got into Cleveland. I was sliding all over the place. My car is actually pretty good too. I have a Subaru Legacy uh, with all-wheel drive, but I was still sliding around a good bit. So um, my cousin Nick and I will be getting at least one workout in probably tomorrow together. Tomorrow evening after the interview's all over. I'm gonna stay here tonight and tomorrow night so I can hang out with him for at least a little bit while I'm here. So I'll see you guys later. Flip in the, in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was mad funny. Interview's done, though. Gonna hit the gym with Big Nick. You squats. All right, guys. So it's about 5 p.m. on Friday, the 24th. Just got done with the interview. Probably around three. It went uh, pretty well. Dinner last night was good. I um, ended up just ordering normal food, just because it would have been weird if I asked for like specific changes to foods or whatever, but I ended up doing pretty well. I had some appetizers, I just had some veggies, uh, crackers, and a coconut shrimp. And then for dinner I got some glazed chicken breast, but it actually wasn't like too bad. It was pretty much grilled chicken, there was skin on it, but I took the skin off and then it was probably about four ounces and then I had some mashed potatoes and green beans. And then for dessert, they everyone got like this apple tart thing that was kind of like an apple pie. So I just had a couple pieces of that. Uh, it was really good. I kind of <laughs> wanted more, but I knew if I ate more, I would have went like way over on my macros. So I just kind of estimated everything there uh, the best I could. And I actually hit a new low today of 180.2. So 170s coming soon, probably. Uh, I did say that like three weeks ago though, so we'll see what happens there. But um, So yeah, and then today for the interview they had breakfast. I, I ate before I left, a uh, pretty big meal. And then I just had a couple pieces of fruit for uh, breakfast there and coffee. And then they also had lunch. They, it was just uh, like roast beef sandwich with provolone. Um, a little more fruit, like a little fruit cup thing. And then... Uh, baked Lay's original, so those were good. And that was pretty simple for me to track too, so definitely wasn't too bad to have to track the food throughout the interview. The interview was awesome, it went really well. Um, the Cleveland Clinic is crazy, it's one of the best hospitals in the world. Uh, it's ranked number four in the country, so pretty cool. Uh, right now, me and Nick are gonna get a workout in. We're gonna go to one of the gyms at Case Western, which is where he goes to school. Um, so maybe we'll get some footage there and we'll see you guys later.
Alright guys, just got some Chipotle with my cousin Nick. Got it on the individual containers. So I got some steak, black beans, mild salsa, or yeah, mild salsa, white rice, chicken, and then I just got a bowl of lettuce that I'm gonna put it on top of. And you get, it's like pretty smaller portion sizes, but all of this cost me $4.40, so it's pretty cheap. They basically just charged me for the chicken and for the steak, and that was it. So, gonna eat this shit up, man. I haven't had to it in a while. Damn. The accurate macros. Alright guys, just sending over my weekly summary chart to Tyler, my coach. Um, I usually send it every Friday night. And looks like this week I actually dropped some good amounts of weight. Uh, 1.3 pounds down from the week before. And that's on the same macros as I was last week. And that week I actually gained 0.04 pounds, so pretty much nothing. Uh, but last week I was doing a deload, so that's probably why my uh, weight went up a little bit or didn't drop just because my energy expenditure was a little bit lower than usual so had a pretty good drop this week 1.3 pounds is pretty uh, perfect in my opinion at least uh, pretty good rate of weight loss so average weight was 181.1 uh, my low weight which was this morning was 180.2 so things are going well been feeling really good my calories are still pretty high 26.85 on my low days and then the refeed puts me up around like 3200 so definitely can't complain at all at this point um, yeah so just wanted to let you guys know about that I'm gonna do my uh, posing I'm, I'm here in Cleveland at my cousin's place so brought my camera tripod and everything so I'm gonna do posing in the morning gonna figure out where to do it here to try to get some sort of similar lighting as when I'm at my apartment just to make sure that I'm like giving Tyler the same kind of idea of what I'm looking like though I'm sure he can can do uh, make some changes based on my weight loss too uh, but the pictures definitely help and it's it's usually good to try to keep it consistent with the lighting but I'll do the best I can here